Hey guys and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can generate an IMP file to be used in the UEL subroutine. Suppose that I want to model a two-dimensional structure with plane strain condition. And I'm assuming that I have a total of 16 elements or uh, I'm going to say meshes for this structure. And I'm going to use this uh, type of nodal connection. As I said in the previous video, one way to generate an IMP file is to use the generated IMP file by Abacus. Now I'm assuming that uh, I have modeled this uh, structure in Abacus and I have used the meshing techniques or nodal connection of the abacus to generate my IMP file. Now, if we want to use a new IMP file uh, for the UEL subroutine, uh, I'm going to show you how we can do that. First, we need to define the nodal coordinates. If you look uh, at the structure, I have 25 uh, nodes that I need to define uh, their coordinates. So I'm going to use this type of coordinates here and at last I'm going to uh, input the nodal coordinates for the 25 uh, node. Next, I'm going to uh, use the user element option to define my uh, elements type so my elements type have uh, four nodes as you can see it here and each element uh, is going to have uh, 16 variables so we have 16 variables and we are talking about the two-dimensional analysis so we have uh, two sets of coordinates and uh, I'm going to use elastic analysis so I have only two uh, properties which is the uh, Young module and Poison's ratio. Next I'm going to define the elements as you can see it here in the element option. So for example first element is going to have 1, 2, 7, and 6 uh, nodes. And so we are going to use counterclockwise labeling. So my first element is going to have 1, 2, 7, 6. Uh, my next element is going to have 2, 3, 8, 7, and so on. So we have 16 elements which have this type of nodal connections. As I said in the previous video, we are going to use a UMAT subroutine to visualize the results. For that purpose, I'm going to build a decoy element. To have the decoy element, first we have to shift the elements uh, numbering. So I have 16 elements and for decoy element I'm going to start by 17 up to uh, 32 elements which have the same nodal connection if I want to visualize the elements numbering here I'm going to use node label so you can see 17 to 32 so I want to use uh, this structure for a simple tension test like uh, this deformation uh, I'm going to generate uh, the boundary condition uh, for this structure and uh, nodes 5 10 15 uh, 20 and 25 are going to be clamped or uh, restrained in the X and Y direction and nodes uh, 1, 6, 11, 16, 21 are going to be uh, my displacement nodes. 
So I'm going to uh, generate these nodes and as you can see I have uh, 6, 11, 16, 25, uh, 21 for um, node set uh, push and I'm going to have um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21 for node set subs. Also, I'm going to uh, input the properties for the UEL element. So I'm going to use the UEL property option. And this kind of assignment requires the element set to be generated. So I have to generate the L set, which uh, is going to have uh, 16 elements uh, in uh, that L set. And I'm going to use the uh, properties of steel, which is going to have the young module equal to 200 gigapascals and uh, 0.3 poisons ratio. And for the decoy element, I'm going to use the solid section, which is going to have a very small number for the young module and poison ratio equal to the um, L set uh, poisons ratio and the rest of the uh, IMP file is going to be straightforward uh, I'm going to have one step uh, which is going to have the uh, static general analysis and with the incrementation and um, time step equal to this line next I'm going to use the boundary conditions to generate uh, a tension test on the structure and I'm going to uh, use the STVs which is the solution dependent variables for visualizing the data. Uh, as I said I'm going to use the UMAT uh, subroutine for visualizing the data so I'm going to uh, need the STVs for that. The rest of the IMP file is uh, the same as the IMP file generated by Abacus. Next, if I want to show how this uh, structure is uh, different uh, from the structure uh, that is uh, generated uh, by the Abacus solver, I'm going to use the job that has been solved by Abacus and you can see that uh, the only difference is this crosses which is uh, the assignment for the elements. In the next video I'm going to focus on the UEL subroutine itself and explain how we can use uh, and write this kind of subroutines in our solutions. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Take care.